Welcome back to another video. Today, we're exploding the golf ball with the Insta360 ONE X2. Before we do that, make sure you do subscribe down below because we've got the new Insta360 camera that's been released on Tuesday of this week. We're getting that very soon to review and we've got the Insta360 GO 2 that I'm working on at the moment, doing some different videos with that. So stay tuned, subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss those uploads amongst others. For this effect, what you're gonna need is a Insta360 ONE X2, their, their flagship 360 camera. This camera's amazing, I've done a bunch of different videos, I'll link them up above and in the description down below. You will need an optional selfie stick, the invisible one from Insta360. You'll need some kind of clamp, this one from Small Rig will clamp to the golf club that we're using. The golf club, I'm not sure if you're interested or you like golf, but it's a ping, ping zing. Those are the golf clubs I own, and then an exploding golf ball. If you haven't heard of these before, you can get them on Amazon. I'll link everything you need in the description down below if you want to do this effect. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but let's have a go anyway. Let's try. I've had this exploding golf ball for a while now. I thought it was actually four exploding, exploding golf balls, but there's a jet streamer, there's an unputtable one, there's a floating one. We have got one exploder, so we're going to smash this ball and we're going to try and film it with the Insta360 ONE X2 to see what actually happens. I've got a bunch of cameras set up in different angles to try and capture it, but it's a 360 footage you want to capture to see what happens when I hit this exploding golf ball. So all this video is, is just a, an example of the creativity you can do with this camera. It's an amazing camera. I think it's a lot better than the GoPro because it just inspires creativity. That's one of the massive points of this camera. I really think it's amazing. But I, if you wanna check out my other videos, I'll link them above or down in the description down below. I've done plenty of reviews and other videos on this brilliant 360 camera. Anyway, let's smash this golf ball and see what happens. Should I hit towards the house? Should I do that? I think it's plastic and something happens when you smash it. I'm not entirely sure what is gonna happen here. I'm gonna move this camera out of the way just in case. I've got the Insta360 mounted on the camera, on the golf club here with the invisible selfie stick. We'll turn that on, that might help. And I think I'm gonna film it in slow motion. It's in 3K. The quality isn't as good, but um, yeah, we'll just, We'll just see how this goes. Okay, let's start recording. We're recording. <laughs> I'm quite scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. a little bit of an anti-climax that golf ball <laughs> i thought it was going to just explode into a ball of flames or maybe not a ball of flames but something a little bit more dramatic anyway it was cool it's something that you can do with these 360 cameras the insta 360 one x2 for example is one of the best you can buy and that's a kind of the point of this video. It really inspires creativity. It inspires you to go out and try different things, to create different videos. You can use it for lots and lots of different purposes. There's loads of effects on the app, for instance. The Shot Lab gives you tutorials on how to do it step by step. You can do time lapses, you can do clone things, you can do the bullet time, which is a cool feature. It follows you with the tracking in the studio app. And you have to make sure you subscribe down below because things are only gonna get better in the next few weeks with shooting 360 footage with the new cameras being released next week. It comes out on the 22nd of March. I should have it by the 25th. So yeah, make sure you do subscribe down there because that's gonna be a wicked one. Okay. That's it, quick one today. It was fun, it didn't quite work out as well as we maybe planned, but it's just a, like a bit of an example of how creative you can be with these cameras and the different things you can do in post-production with changing the keyframes and yeah, it's fun. So check it out, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one though guys. Take it easy, bye.